the last thing that should be a requirement for your employee handbook is a quiz. Guys, the employee quiz. Ours, I just recently updated this because I realized that a couple people that we had recently onboarded didn't know some very important information. But whose job is it that those new employees know very important information? Is it their manager's job? Or is it my job? Well, I take that as my job. Yes, could the manager have said something? Maybe, probably. But at the end of the day, if I didn't create a mechanism for that to be very clearly known in onboarding, then it's my job. It's my fault that that didn't take place. So our quiz gets updated whenever there's new information that we want somebody to know. So our question or our quiz has 25 questions. <laughs> Guys, I don't mess around. And another 15 questions in um, the policies side. So there's like an actual handbook quiz and then there's a policies quiz. Handbook. One of the questions, uh, all incoming employees are required to sign up for direct deposit. Is it true or false? Uh, employees may keep company property indefinitely. That one's kind of a layup. This one. Confidential or proprietary information includes, but is not limited to, business plans, strategies, budget, projections, forecasts, financial and operating information, business contracts, databases, and other employees' information. They actually would likely get this one incorrect because there are a variety of things that we don't include in this statement that we do include in the handbook. And the purpose is for them to know and study the handbook to be clear on those things. So some of them are a bit more difficult than others, and that is intentional. From a policies quiz, uh, I'm a little bit of a uh, stickler when it comes to our dress code and having our team represent our brand. So the first question on the policies quiz is, only black, blue, and gray are acceptable color attire at events. You let me know if you think that's true or false. Dress code applies both in office work and work from home environments. What else is a fun one? Cardo Ventures is pleased to offer each of our employees one work from home day per calendar year. You'd have to look that one up. Uh, incentive compensation will be paid out on the second payroll of each month, the 20th of that month, the 20th paycheck. Is it true or false? If you worked in Cardo Ventures, you would know. I'm not gonna give you all the answers because what if you do wanna work at Cardo Ventures? If you do, speaking of, cardoventures.com forward slash careers, we are hiring like crazy people right now. So those are the five things that in addition to the main things and what you normally think of an employee handbook, you can put in and I highly recommend you do put in in order to create this environment where everybody has clarity around what policies are and to ensure that they actually know the information that's stuck in there with the with the quiz.